Can AI have an impact on sustainability? Yes, absolutely it can. And I am here today to present Our Carbon, a project that proves beyond a doubt what AI can have on our approach to sustainability. With AI, could we measure in real time the carbon emissions of a French airport? So first, we wanted to have a global picture and studied the entire value chain of airports. This is when we discovered that 95% of an airport's carbon emissions are due to aircraft activities and land transportation for passengers to access the airport. We, of course, needed real-time data, such as the position, altitude, and speed of airplanes in order to determine if they were cruising, taking off, or landing. But we also searched for emission models and values to be able to translate usage of a device into emissions. For example, how much does an aircraft emit during one minute while it is taking off? In total, we gathered over 20 sources of data and created 14 applications in order to analyze and combine this information into consolidated emission values. However, we ran into a brick wall. Some data was simply not available in real time, such as the duration of aircraft taxi time. But we were still lucky enough to be able to access it in delay. This is when we made use of AI, or machine learning to be more exact. We identified factors of influence, such as airport gate and intensity of airport traffic, in order to develop a model which predicts in real time how long it takes for an aircraft to travel between the runways and the gates. Overall, we assess that air carbon estimates carbon emissions with an 11% margin of error using purely open source data. We concluded that current aircraft technologies weren't efficient enough to be able to deal with growing traffic and respect COP21 Paris agreements. However, on a brighter note, due to France's low carbon electricity, we found that electric vehicles are a sound solution for ground transportation. Today, I am in the process of replicating air carbon for all of the airports present in uh, Ardian's portfolio. That is the Milan airports, the Naples airports, and the Turin airport. We are further developing the tool, and we are increasing its performances. When we started to be euh, au début, donc avec Faber Novel et d'autres, euh, à tout ce qui est de la transformation digitale, on s'est dit qu'il faut qu'on fasse partie d'un écosystème qui n'était pas le nôtre. Hein. Honnêtement, notre, notre écosystème était plutôt le, le, la construction, les grandes centrales, que, que l'écosystème de, des start-up. Et donc, on a commencé à interagir, et en particulier avec euh, les étudiants, euh, les étudiants en prenant des stagiaires euh, de l'école polytechnique, euh, d'HEC, de l'école 42, et ça a été une énorme bouffée d'oxygène, c'est-à-dire que cet esprit de curiosité, cette capacité à challenger, à remettre en cause ce qu'on fait, à voir les choses différemment, à innover, c'est quand même formidable qu'on puisse mesurer en temps réel ça, les, les émissions et les fonctionnements de nos aéroports avec un prisme qui est totalement différent, absolument bluffé, et c'est pour ça que je me suis dit qu'il faut absolument qu'on qu qu aille plus loin et que ce ne soit pas juste des stages, mais que nos équipes soient composées aussi de gens qui viennent d'autres horizons, d'autres formations. Et je trouve ça vraiment une chance pour les gens qui, comme moi, sont curieux de, de, de voir les choses autrement.